Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today I have a review of Must Die's sophomore LP, Crisis Vision. Going into the first listen and process of writing this review, I actually didn't really know Must Die before or wasn't really experienced with his discography. And so normally I would go back and listen to some of their older stuff to see what this new album or project is like, but actually in this case, I decided not to do that and listen to this whole 13 track album in a bit of a vacuum and only listen to this this is the first and only stuff I've ever heard of from Must Die. But throughout this 13 track LP, Must Die hits a variety of electronic music and bass music in terms of dubstep, DNB, some hardcore, and a bit of trap in it. I am not someone that listens to heavy bass music like this album is for the most part, but I think Must Die did a actually really good job of balancing those heavy tonality sounds and not making it so in your face. Even though I thought the track was a little bit on the average side compared to the rest of the track list, I thought the song Hellburst was a pretty good indicator of what the whole album actually was as a whole. This track is full of energetic hardcore drops, glitchy synths, and tonal movements. And there are these melodic sections in between the drops that serve to kind of emphasize the rawness of the drops when they do show up. This is one of the more hardcore style heavy songs on the track list, and I think it works really well within the context of the entire album. When paired with the second track on the track list, Lol OK, I think the two of them do a pretty good job of pretty much establishing the whole thematics and sound design for the entire LP. While these two songs obviously aren't the entire album, I think if you play just these two for any person, it is a pretty good indicator of what you're gonna get throughout the entire project. Lil OK does a really good job of bringing in the heavy trap beats while maintaining a nice melody with the really high metallic synths. And then after that first drop, there's about a minute and a half of build up to the absolutely raging second drop. And while I do appreciate and like this track quite a bit, I felt that the drops were a little lacking in its length. Must I had something great going on with this song and I wish you would have explored it a little bit more. But let's talk about my favorite track on the LP, Don't Even Bother with the Pom Poms. The verse sections of this song actually give me major dead mouse vibes. It's got this cheery deep house hits to it in the first drop and the second is pretty much purely electronic sounds. But come the drops, Must Die favors a more house-driven, commercial-friendly style of drop. This track has the widest potential appeal, I think, than anything else on this track list, in my opinion, and I think that is partially in part to the pom-poms with their kind of light-hearted, soft vocal deliveries. That paired with the relatively minimalist midsections makes this whole song kind of sound like a homage to an older EDM type of sound. I had mentioned it a little bit in passing before, but I think a lot of this album hinges on Must Die's ability to combine the hard-hitting intense sounds of the dubstep and DNB styles with a more melodic section. Tracks like Error and Choose One are prime examples of this idea. One of the things I really don't like about heavy bass-driven music like this album in particular is that often the really high screeching metallic sounds are just like they get in your ear and they make you feel like you're getting tinnitus. And I just, obviously, I don't like that. But I think Must Die does a really good job here of actually mixing and mastering those sounds so that it isn't so jarring to listen to. And with a more melodic tonal shift in the second drop of air, whoo, that thing is probably one of my favorite sections of anything on this album. I know he doesn't do a ton of melodic dubstep in that sense of what the second half of air sounded like, but I would have really wished to hear a little bit more of that from Must Die on this record. And for all of those heavy heads out there, Must Die absolutely brings the heat with the majority of this track list. With songs like Body Scream, Nerve Damage, Delete It All, there's a lot to count here. Body Scream is an absolutely insane fast DNB track with alarm sounding synths that work perfect for a workout or hype playlist. But on the flip side of that, an average listen for me of this song is probably it's a little too intense. But Nerve Damage and Delete It All bring the hammer down for the second and third last tracks of the record. Both tracks are bangers of intense bass music and I think Must Die kind of added these two tracks in the last bit of the track list because a lot of it is a little bit more lighter in terms of the overall theme of the project. There's not a ton of really, really intense stuff in this project. There's a good balance of both. And I think Must I added these two kind of as the second and third last tracks to be like, hey, there's some light stuff in here, but also there's this. 
I was more particularly a fan of the lighter stuff on this project, like the whole Don't Even Bother track or the last half of Error, but that's not to discredit a lot of the hard-hitting dubstep tracks that Must Die has littered throughout this project. Overall, I enjoyed the pure amount of variety in this bass-centric album. Must Die plays around with a ton of dubstep, DNB, hardcore, and trap sounds throughout this album to create something and compile it all into a whole project for the bass head masses. While not all movements of this LP resonated with me personally, I think there were enough tonal shifts while maintaining the cohesiveness of the project to create some songs that everyone would enjoy, primarily people that listen to EDM. It just feels like there's a little bit of everything for any EDM listener on this album. And I particularly enjoyed how well the mixing and mastering was on this project, especially with those screechingly high metallic synth sounds I think he did a great job of actually making those bearable and pleasant to listen to. And with that, Must Die's Crisis Vision LP is going to score a 7. But thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Bowtied Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you love this album? Did you hate it? What were your favorite songs? I would love to hear them all in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in another video.